Welcome to the World of M.A.S.H., a 1970 film that not only catapulted itself into cinematic history, but also left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers worldwide. Directed by Robert Altman, this satirical black comedy set against the backdrop of the Korean War is a timeless exploration of the human condition in the most chaotic of circumstances. Amidst the irreverent humor and poignant moments, M.A.S.H. introduces us to a group of army surgeons who navigate the absurdities of war with a blend of wit and resilience. The film's narrative invites reflection on the nature of camaraderie, the cost of conflict, and the coping mechanisms that emerge in the face of adversity. As you recall this cinematic gem, two questions might come to mind. Can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? Or, out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Before we delve into the myriad reasons MASH stands out, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's uncover some intriguing facts about M.A.S.H. that may surprise even the most ardent fans. Did you know that the film's title is an acronym for Mobile Army Surgical Hospital? Or that it inspired the wildly successful TV series of the same name? These tidbits add layers to the film's legacy, making it a cultural touchstone beyond its initial release. Before we wrap up, we're eager to hear your thoughts. What's your connection to M.A.S.H.? Drop your comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Your stories enrich the tapestry of this cinematic classic. So, can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? Or, out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. In 1970, the movie MASH hit the screens, and amidst its production, a strategic move was made. At the behest of 20th Century Fox, a caption highlighting the Korean setting was added at the film's beginning. This decision aimed to avoid confusion, explicitly referencing the Korean War in announcements and radio broadcasts. The film's setting in 1951 was emphasized, steering the audience away from associating the depicted war with the ongoing Vietnam War. Amidst the seriousness of war, a light-hearted anecdote unfolded on set. Actors Elliot Good and Donald Sutherland playfully referred to each other as Shirley. This spontaneous banter, stemming from Good's one-shot jest that left Sutherland in laughter, made its way into the film. The term Shirley bore a personal touch, referencing Sutherland's then-wife, Shirley Douglas. Beyond the film set, MASH earned its place in comedic history. Premier Magazine, in 2006, acknowledged its greatness by ranking it among the 50 greatest comedies of all time. Over the years, the movie consistently found itself on various best and greatest movie lists, cementing its enduring status in the world of cinema. MASH, a 1970 film that deftly navigated the realms of war and humor, left an indelible mark on cinema, earning accolades for its setting precision and contributing to the laughter legacy in the annals of film history. Donald Sutherland's tenacity shaped the iconic character Hawkeye in the 1970 movie MASH. Initially, director Robert Altman leaned towards James Garner for the role, a Korean War veteran himself. However, Sutherland's determined lobbying secured him the part, bringing a unique depth to the character. Interestingly, Garner, who had experienced the realities of war firsthand, had his own connection to the Korean War, having been wounded and treated in a military hospital during that time. This casting decision not only defined the film's casting dynamics, but added a layer of authenticity to the portrayal of war on screen. Intriguingly, the MASH characters share a connection with Harvard University's Memorial Hall. The names of several characters adorn the large memorial plaque of Harvard alumni who served and died in the U.S. Civil War. Captain Benjamin Franklin Pierce, a central character in the film, hails from Maine, adding a historical touch to the narrative. This subtle nod to real-life connections weaves an interesting historical context into the fabric of the movie, bridging fiction with reality. Meanwhile, behind-the-scenes decisions also played a pivotal role. Altman's initial choice for Elliot Good was for a different character, Duke Forrest. It was only at Good's insistence that he took on the role of Trapper John. Good's concern about getting lost in the nuances of Duke's accent showcased the actor's dedication to delivering a memorable performance. This behind-the-scenes negotiation not only shaped the character dynamics, 
but also highlighted the collaborative effort that went into making MASH a groundbreaking film. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into casting decisions and character origins add layers of intrigue to the 1970 movie MASH. From Sutherland's determined lobbying to the subtle historical nods and character backgrounds, each aspect contributes to the film's unique blend of humor and war commentary. The movie's enduring legacy is not only a testament to its on-screen brilliance, but also to the fascinating stories that unfolded behind the camera. Elliot Good and Donald Sutherland, two key actors in the making of M.A.S.H., had a tumultuous relationship with director Robert Altman. They believed Altman was neglecting their needs on set, spending excessive time with extras. In hindsight, Good admitted their arrogance in not grasping Altman's genius. This behind-the-scenes tension, undisclosed until later, sheds light on the intricate dynamics during the film's production. Meanwhile, the character Radar, a pivotal role in M.A.S.H., was initially offered to Austin Pendleton. However, he opted for Catch-22, a decision he later regretted as his most significant career misstep. Pendleton's choice reshaped the casting landscape of M.A.S.H., emphasizing the importance of actor decisions in shaping the film's outcome. Adding an unusual twist to the movie's legacy, the iconic theme song was intended to be the stupidest song ever written. Robert Altman, finding it challenging to compose lyrics dumb enough, delegated the task to his 14-year-old son, Mike Altman. In just five minutes, Mike wrote the lyrics, not expecting payment. Ironically, he ended up earning millions in royalties, showcasing the unpredictability of creative processes in the film industry. These anecdotes offer intriguing insights into the challenges and quirks that shaped M.A.S.H., revealing the complexities of collaboration, casting decisions, and unexpected outcomes that contributed to the film's enduring legacy. With its initial box office take of $41 million in 1970 dollars, M.A.S.H. stood as the second highest grossing comedy film at the time, just below The Graduate. Adjusted for inflation, it still holds a notable position among the highest grossing comedy films. The financial success marked a significant achievement, showcasing its widespread appeal to audiences. However, behind the scenes, challenges arose as the accounting department at 20th Century Fox claimed shooting was four days behind schedule on only the second day. This discrepancy sheds light on the complexities of film production, highlighting the pressure and pace faced during the making of the iconic movie. Moreover, MASH's unique atmosphere and dialogue style added to its distinctiveness. Tom Skerritt revealed that about 80% of the dialogue was improvised, contributing to a different kind of cinematic experience. Director Robert Altman's decision to cast some parts from improvisational clubs, bypassing actors with previous movie or TV experience, played a crucial role in creating this unconventional atmosphere. This improvisational approach not only shaped the film's tone, but also showcased Altman's innovative direction, pushing the boundaries of traditional filmmaking. In conclusion, MASH's financial success and the onset challenge of falling behind schedule underscore its dual nature of triumph and struggle. The improvised dialogue, a significant aspect of the film, highlights the unconventional methods employed in its creation. These behind-the-scenes dynamics offer a glimpse into the intricate process that led to the making of the 1970 classic. As we bid adieu to the hallowed halls of the 4077th, let your mind linger on the tapestry woven by the 1970 cinematic masterpiece, M.A.S.H. In the intimate chaos of Hawkeye's wit, the symphony of choppers, and the poignant haze of the Korean War, perhaps you find a mirror reflecting your own journey through laughter, camaraderie, and the pangs of humanity. As the curtain falls on the M.A.S.H. saga, your personal connection to this timeless classic echoes across the decades. Did it provoke laughter in the face of adversity, or did its poignant moments carve indelible marks on your soul? Now is the moment to share, to reminisce, to let your thoughts unfurl like the iconic helicopter blades against the Korean sky. Reach into the recesses of your memory, unearthing the laughter shared with friends or the quiet contemplation sparked by its profound narrative. What does M.A.S.H. mean to you? Was it a gentle balm for the wounds of reality, a refuge where you found solace in the arms of these fictional comrades? Your reflections are the mortar that cements M.A.S.H.'s place in the annals of cinematic history. So, dear friend, let the typewriter of your mind click away, transcribing the memories and musings inspired by this cinematic gem.
Share your stories, your laughter, and your tears, for in the sharing, we perpetuate the magic that is MASH. Thank you for embarking on this reflective journey with us. Your stories enrich the tapestry of collective nostalgia, ensuring that MASH continues to resonate through the corridors of time. With gratitude for your time and the stories you hold, 